So this week's video is a tour of Gator Grounds here in Bunky, Louisiana. We are camping here with a big group. We're gonna have a good time. We had a good time last night. We're gonna pass another good time tonight. But uh, figure I'd do a little tour of the place, showing everybody what all they got here. This is uh, kind of the front of where all the campers are, kind of facing towards the water park. They got two main loops, I guess you can call it. This would be the front loop. And we're on that second loop with those campers you can see behind these campers. But uh, not that big of a campground as far as uh, the amount of campers, which I kind of like, because it keeps the crowds down at the uh, at the water park area. I'm gonna uh, tour the water park area in a little while and show y'all, but pretty cool, pretty neat. The kids love it. There's also a golf course and a couple small ponds with fish in them that you can fish. Uh, the golf course, you can, you know, you, it's a separate fee. You can play and you can go golf. Uh, I hadn't golfed yet, but I've had some buddies that golfed it. They said it's a little on the high price side, but not too, too bad. Um, I'm gonna have to play next time we come. I'd like to get around to golfing. I ain't played in forever. But, but there you go, that's the kind of the first loop. You kind of see the, the distance between the campers. Um, it's not super tight, but um, this loop is a little, the campers are a little closer than the other loop. The loop we're on, you got a little more distance between the campers. This is one of the ponds you can fish next to the second loop. And behind it is the uh, golf course. You can see some golf carts over there and some people playing there around the golf. Pretty warm today, but they sweat. And that's the entrance into the second loop. That was the loop we just drove down, and that's the second loop. And then this is like a big roundabout right here, and that's the uh, the bar and a uh, little store, and uh, they serve food and stuff too. And you know that's all the water park. And there's also an indoor park. I'm going to show that too. So officially, they call this loop one, the loop we're on. And the one I just did was loop two. So I had that backwards. The front loop is loop two, and the back loop is loop one. But as you can see, you enter here, and there's, there's a couple of them that are, that are pull throughs. Like this campsite right here is a pull through. The one on this side is a pull through. Know the pull through right there. These are all pull throughs on this side by the pond, and then on the other side of the pond where we're at is uh, back ends. But honestly, the back ends it wasn't a, it wasn't a bad back end. It's, they got a decent amount of little room to build a back end. Right off here, on. that's a uh, my camper. That's our spot that we're in. Like I said, you can see there's a little more space between the two campers there. And the ponds behind us so you can fish and then you know there's some spots on this side and then all my buddies is on that side chris and paul speaking of chris there's chris coming out here's my brother's camper and truck so we're all camped together and hanging out all right here can't, can't see because the truck's kind of in the way here we go boom there you go all back there we've been hanging out and whatnot and there's rito going hang out with paul We'll probably use that. Wave, Chris. Wave to the camera. Doing my video tour for uh my, my, my YouTube channel. <laughs> Need a ride to the campground? I'm going back. If y'all recognize that little camper, that's my other camper. The uh some friends are using it and they're camping with us too. So you got Jared's camper, and then inside of that you got my camper. Now you got my other camper, and we all hang out together, and then on this side. You got the Rito and the Fontenot's, and there's a Rito. So, yeah, we're going to finish this up, little loop up, and that'll be that part of the tour. I did that uh, this for Lakeview, and uh, it's kind of popular. It got, uh, Everybody gets to see the campground. Yeah, it gives you an idea of what you're getting into if you want to uh, come uh, come stay. I did it for uh, Fort Pickens, too. Oh, there's, a, there's another Rito. I was gonna meet y'all. Yeah, he's gonna meet you. You got cool, alcohol at the pool? Huh? I was 
If it ain't Mike Honcho himself. <laughs> That's the lazy river. Volleyball pool. Slides. Another pool. And another pool with slide going into it. And I'm on the, the big slide right now. Filming. You can go ahead. I film you. Mason gonna go take the leap. There it goes. So here's the indoor water park area. It's uh right across from the uh the rope course they got there. That's a little extra, I think it's like ten dollars to do the rope course. And there's the uh, the part of the park where the water park is. So we're gonna check out the indoor part. A little splash pad area, hot tub over there, another volleyball pool, got a little indoor slide. This is a uh, uh, swamp juice. They serve it at the bar. I forgot what's in it. Pretty good though. It is green. You think Dom? So you okay? They also play movies at night for the kids to watch on this uh, screen over there. Pretty cool. So, one little extra thing to let y'all know about. I have no idea what that movie is, by the way. But sometimes it might be good movies, sometimes it might be movies that ain't so good. But it's a movie. Hey! Alright, so I just finished doing the editing for this video and realized I didn't include any footage from inside the little bar area or the little store area. Or the little area, kind of by the store area, where you can put like ice chests and stuff. Because they let you bring ice chests. You just can't have glass bottles or aluminum cans in the pools. They want you to drink out of like a Yeti style cup. So like you can even bring your own beer and pour it in a Yeti cup and drink it in the pools. Which I think is really cool. So uh, something to know about the place. Um, but their bar actually serves drinks too. They're a little short staffed right now, just like everybody is. So the bar could be a little on the slow side. Not their fault. There was one girl working. And just like everybody right now, they're having trouble finding staff. Uh, besides that one minus, everything else there is super positive. Would go back in a heartbeat. I've been there before. And every time I've been, I've had a good time. And so everything else I said, positive. So I do reckon, recommend this campground. Anybody that's in, you know, hour, two hours of the area, check it out. It's uh, pretty cool. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Till next time, take it easy. Peace.